Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do another video for the upcoming game, Dawn of Titans. In this video, I am going to give some extended knowledge about using relics. I've gotten a lot of questions on several things. You know, how do I get more titans? How do I use my relics? How do I um, boost with relics? So what this video is going to focus on a little bit more, it's using some of the, the relics that you're getting when you're out doing battle, uh, you're doing solo campaigns. Uh, when these things drop and you start creating added inventory, uh, you can actually put them to use. So uh, there's a couple ways to do this. I actually went in through my castle, and that's one of the quickest ways just to sort of scroll from top to bottom. And you can see here I have the opportunity to replace a, a relic that I have in play. Uh, this is going to be for crafting cost, and I haven't done a, a spells in a while, but um, when I do create my new spells, there you can see I just got a fireball cra crafting cost 10% uh, speed boost for the next 12 hours. Um, there's just some really neat things here. You can see this is for your barracks, for your units. Um, you can actually um, get a, a boost for your archers in that one. Here's another barracks boost. Um, I don't know why it gave me the opportunity to do that because I've already boosted the other one. And you can see I don't have it. Uh, titan capacity. So what this does is my titan training cost is uh, lowered by 10%. So especially if you have a higher level titan, let's say it's level 20, 21, 22, and these are 5, 6, 7 days, that 10% is huge. You can save yourself about 24 hours in getting your titan set up. So I'll scroll back through just so you can see um, the snapshot. And some people like the, the main map where you can just click on the farm or click on the market or click on the individual building. But what I found, just go directly into the castle and this gives you a whole list. It's a lot easier to manage this. So hopefully uh, this saves you a little bit of time and, uh, and, and a few keystrokes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you can see over on the right side, the, the relic looks like a little ring. I have 500 relics and, and that is the max that you can have. So, you know, I can't even get my altar of humility and get my, uh, my free, you get a free uh, relic every day that you can use. Um, I got a pretty neat surprise because obviously I'm doing the, the uh, voice after the video. So toward the end of the video, I'm going to show you one of the relics that I got. So pretty neat. Uh, not exactly what I wanted, but it's still, it's still pretty good. So how do you get rid of these 500? I mean, there's a couple things. Uh, each of these have a gold value. So I guess I could go through and just sell a lot of them. Um, but these are my combat relics, and I really, really love to use these to keep my titans equipped. It gives me a little extra advantage in battle. Um, so what I like to do is I like to fuse my combat relics and make those a little bit stronger, you know, anywhere from your, your archer strength to your overall um, titan strength to your titan uh, health. I mean, these things just have so many added benefits. Um, once again, I know I've mentioned in at least two videos uh, the inventory here is just a complete mess, so please, 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 natural motion people, do something about these ranger shards and these sorcerer shards. I am not selling them, because I know when the two new titans come out that I am going to boost those suckers up so fast. So I really need you to do one of two things. Number one, either let's get some rangers and some sorcerers in the game as soon as possible, so we can actually see those and use those. I put another video up for Titan Exchange. Let us dump some of these crappy, redundant Titans that we have over and over again so we can get some fresh new Titans and invigorate the game. Or um, give me another inventory slot. You know, you've got combat, we got item. Is it that hard just to create another inventory slot for shards? I mean, if, if I can only hold 500 relics, and out of my 500 relics, three or 400 of them are shards, create another category so I don't have to scroll through all of these shards every time in order to get down to the bottom stuff that I need. It, it is a slow, laborious process, and I don't know. You've heard me complain about it. I'm going to stop complaining. I finally got to the bottom of it. Um, i got a couple spells I'm not going to use ever, so I'm going to use those to fuse my combat relic and make my rapier a little bit stronger so my infiltrator will hit a little bit harder once I level that bad boy up. So there you see another uh, fusing relic. So this is my altar of humility. So now I finally got a slot so I can hit this every 24 hours. So let's see what the added surprise is. And there you go. I cannot use it because I'm you know, full of titans. But this is Tegan, and he is a very, very good berserker. So um, you know, I will find a way to sort of get him into play. But this answers one of the other questions some people had. How do I get more titans without buying them? You hit this altar of humility. Uh, you know, sometimes you get a relic that's going to be a boost. Sometimes you get a titan. Um, so, you know, keep checking back on those every 24 hours. Um, here you can do some individual things. Uh, my name's Killshot from 999 Gaming. Uh, thanks for all the support watching the videos. If there's something uh, particular you'd like to see, drop me a line and subscribe below. Peace.